Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Maze MTG here, back with another Corset 2020 preview pre-brew. So if you haven't seen this section before, what we do is we take a new preview from Corset 2020 and try and brew a deck around that card using only cards that are legal in standard currently. What that would normally mean is that we only use one card from the new set as part of our brewing just to get an idea of what might be coming for us. However, today, as you may have noticed up in that corner, there are two cards that we'll be looking at in today's deck. Why? Because in the last 24 hours, two white cards have both been previewed, both of which have angel synergies, and both of which I want to put into this deck. So we'll make an exception. I make the rules anyway. So what deck do we have that includes both these cards? Well, it's called Orzhov Visitation, and it relies around angel synergies and various other interesting effects to kind of form a black-white mid-range shell. But the first thing we're going to talk about are the two preview cards in the top right hand corner. So the one, the leftmost card, um, is Bishop of the Exalted. The name has been translated, so that may not be the official name. But what it definitely does, it costs white white. It's a 1-4 creature, human cleric. And whenever an angel enters the battlefield under your control, you gain 4 life. And whenever an angel you control dies, you create a 1-1 one, one white spirit creature token with flying. So this rewards you for casting angels, having them come into play, and when your angels die, they get replaced by 1-1 one, one white spirit creature tokens. Interesting effects, and you'll see how we're trying to leverage that throughout the rest of the deck in terms of synergy. The second preview card we're playing is Angel of Vitality. Two and a white for a 2-2 two -two flyer, so a Windrake. If you would gain life, you gain that much life plus one instead. And Angel of Vitality gets plus two plus two, as long as you have 25 or more life. So if you can get 5 or more life above your starting life total, Angel of Vitality becomes a probably constructed level threat in terms of its power and toughness for cost. So, what's the rest of the deck got going on? Why are we brewing around these cards? So, first thing we've got here, Resplendent Angel. So, 3-3 three, three, flyer for 3. For 3, white, 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 you can give it plus 2, plus 2 and lifelink until end of turn that allows it to trigger its own second ability. So at the beginning of each end step, if you gain 5 or more life this turn, you create a 4-4 white angel creature token with flying and vigilance. So that's a pretty good reward for gaining 5 life. So how else can we gain 5 life in this deck aside from activating that 6 mana ability and getting in with Resplendent Angel? Well one thing we can already do, if we have a Bishop of the Exalted on the battlefield and an Angel of Vitality, Simply having any angel enter the battlefield will gain you 4 life from the bishop's trigger with an additional 1 added on top from Angel of Vitality. That is 5 or more life this turn. That's going to get you your 4-4 four, four white angel creature token. Pretty good. We've got Shalai, Voice of Plenty. She's an angel just as a one of 3-4 four for 4, more importantly giving us, our planeswalkers, and our other creatures hexproof. We're not going to be able to spend 4 green green in the deck, but that doesn't really matter. So again, we'd like some more angels. We've got four Seraph of the Scales. So Seraph of the Scales allows you to trigger again your Bishop of the Exalted um, to gain that life to potentially trigger Resplendent Angel. Also Seraph of the Scales, when it dies, not only would it produce a 1-1 White Flying Spirit Creature token if you had a Bishop in play, also Afterlife 2 means you're going to be getting two Spirits either way. So is there a way to pay off all of these small spirits that we've got coming into play? Well actually, Divine Visitation. So this 5 mana enchantment, if one or more creature tokens would be created under your control, instead you create that many 4-4 four, four white angel creature tokens with flying and vigilance. So in the case of Bishop of the Exalted, it doesn't state non-token angel, just an angel you control dies, so whenever an angel you control dies, even if it is one of these tokens, instead of creating a 1-1 white spirit, that angel is just immediately replaced with a 4-4 white angel creature token with flying and vigilance in kind of an unending cycle of giant angelic blockers. So, we've got our token synergy kind of locked down. What about rewarding us for playing all these angels outside of Bishop of the Exalted? Well, how about two copies of Lyra Dawnbringer? Our other angels get plus one, plus one, and also gain lifelink. So again, looking to trigger Resplendent Angel, looking to take our life total above 25 for Angel of Vitality. At 5 mana, we also have one other angel in the form of Angel of Grace. I don't know if it's good, but it's certainly very fun. It's a 5-4 flash flyer, so it can come in to surprise your opponents. 
with a Lyra coming in as a 6-5 with lifelink. Pretty big swing in, in its own right. Also, when it does come into play, damage that would reduce your life total to less than 1 reduces it to 1 until the end of the turn. So effectively, you can't die to damage the turn this comes into play. And it does have some additional utility exiling itself from your graveyard as well. With all these white creatures at the top of our curve, with us playing 4 Bishop of the Exalted, with us playing Angel of Vitality, I thought a good 2 drop to put in a mid-range shell is Knight of Malice. Most of the time it's going to be a 3-2 first strike, good rate for 2 mana, also hexproof from white, so it can dodge effects like Conclave Tribunal, like Baffling End, that may otherwise seek to remove it and allow your opponent to sneak in early damage, also does a good job preserving your life total, so hopefully your Angel of Vitality can come online as soon as possible. We are playing some removal in the form of 2 Cast Down, 3 Mortify, and 2 Vraska's Contempt, so 7 flexible removal spells that allow you to deal with most problems that could provide a roadblock against your mid-range deck. And at the very top of the curve, 2 copies of Liliana Dreadhorde General. Whenever a creature you control dies, you get to draw a card, and again, that's not stating non-token. So if you do end up going off with your Bishop of the Exalted, with your Divine Visitation, that's a lot of cards. For plus one, it makes a 2-2 black zombie creature token that will be replaced by an Angel with Divine Visitation. And her minus four and minus nine respectively allow you to exercise a degree of board control in conjunction with your removal and ultimately win the game as well in most cases. The deck's playing 25 lands B2 because we do have a curve that skews high and no way to really draw to lands. That's 4 Godless Shrine, 4 Isolated Chapel, and then 17 Basics with a skew towards white because our Bishop of the Exalted is white white on turn 2 and Resplendent Angel is white white on turn 3 as well. And ultimately that is Orzov Visitation in a nutshell. Let me know what you think, are we getting the most out of Bishop of the Exalted and Angel of Vitality? Are there any changes, any suggestions, anything you would do differently with the deck? If there is, please let me know in the comments below what you would do. Um, if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more as we move through the Core Set 2020 spoiler season, please consider subscribing to this channel. You can turn on notifications that let you know when new videos do go live. And if you'd like to see me playing Magic Live or some of these decks after Core Set 2020 does release, you'll find a link in the description below to my Twitch channel as well, which is twitch.tv slash mazemtg. Whatever you choose to do, I hope you enjoy the rest of the Corsair 2020 spoiler season, have a fantastic day, and I will see you all very soon.